all well, my Hello Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. Now, I, I wanted to talk more about this, but uh, my voice is a little under the weather, so I'm not going to be doing any impressions, I'm not going to be doing any of that. And uh, I'm pretty much going to tell you my general thoughts on the movie, get to a few nitty gritty details, and then we'll end it because I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt my voice. So yeah, I went and saw the live action Aladdin. I got invited to an early screening like on Tuesday, and I, I got to be honest with y'all, I walked into this movie ready to hate it. I was, because I had seen some of the clips, was not impressed. I had seen the trailers, eh, not really impressed. And honestly, I thought, you know what, you can never ever do a version of Aladdin and really have a good enjoyable one without Robin Williams. Well, I guess that's not really true because I did enjoy the show at Disneyland, that Aladdin, and then I haven't seen the Broadway one, but the little I've heard of it looks really good. So, I don't know, I was just like, I I didn't know how well this would be without Robin Williams involved as the genie. Because I've, I've said this for years, and I still kind of stand by it. The reason the animated one is as well loved as it is, is because of Robin Williams. Just, if you took genie out of it, and just had the characters as they were, it wouldn't have been a bad movie, but it wouldn't have, I don't think it would have been nearly remembered as it is today if Robin Woods in it, because Aladdin's a good character, Jasmine's good too, Sultan's good, okay, Jafar's a great villain, I'll give you that one, but everyone else is just, they're good. Not amazing, but good. And then Genie is what puts it over and makes that movie just completely unforgettable. So I was like, okay, well this has got a lot of strikes starting off, so let's just see how it goes, and honestly guys, I walked away really enjoying this version. Now let me be real clear, this is not me saying that it's better than the animated one. No, the animated one is still better. But this live action remake did something that none of the other live action remakes have tried to do before. It was fun. All these other ones are trying to be dark and gritty and put this hardcore realism into everything. And this one's like, no, we just want to make you laugh. We want to let you have a good time. We want to just let you enjoy the story again. Just to ha l cut loose, have some fun, share some laughs, and just walk away going, oh, that was fun. And that's what I got from it. It was just fun. Now let me go ahead and talk about some stuff right off the bat. Uh, do I think Will Smith did a better job than Robin Williams as a genie? No, no one's gonna do a better job than Robin Williams as a genie, but I give this credit to the company. They did not try to make Will Smith's genie Robin Williams' genie. They made them two different characters. They had two different approaches on how they played them, and I thought the way Will Smith played genie was actually really good. I will say this about the genie. When he's not singing, he's actually really great. When he's singing, yeah, it does not go over well. It just feels like a cheap imitation. It feels like he is not really built for singing, but is more built for rapping. And he's a great rapper. I don't want to say anything bad against his rapping career, but when it comes to like singing a straight up song, like singing a song, he's not not that's not his skill set and that, yeah that that didn't turn out that great but i will say this comparing his performances to uh emma watson's in beauty and the beast emma watson's in beauty and the beast was hard to listen to like it hurt it hurt me to hear how much auto tune was in it and i was like oh, just stop just stop just stop will smith singing his wasn't painful but it was enough to be like Okay, that was fun enough and did its purpose, but please quit trying to sing Broadway. You're not good at it. And speaking of the music, they did add a new song for Jasmine called Speechless. Now, I have mixed feelings about this song because on one hand, I love the song in and of itself. Like, ever since the movie's gotten out, I've sat down and listened to it on repeat on my phone. Every time I go anywhere, it's just going, and I'm like, I really just like the song. However, I don't think it really fits the musical feel of the rest of the movie. Uh, it doesn't feel like a song from Aladdin, it feels like a belty Broadway number from like Wicked. Not to say that that's a bad thing, I love the music in Wicked, and I love what the song's trying to say, I think it's fantastic, and like I said, I love listening to it, I just don't know how well it fits the Aladdin musical tone, but then again, looking back at the rest of the live action music, I don't know if the rest of the music really goes with the aesthetic. Because they try to do something interesting with the music here. It's like, the original one was very Broadway-esque. Everything was very uh, orchestral-centered and 
you got all of these sweeping instruments and it really made a cohesive feel throughout the entire piece even whenever you are switching different genres from a traditional-esque style of Arabian Nights to the sweeping drama of A Whole New World to the toe-tapping jazzy friend like me. You got all of that mix in between and for some reason it felt cohesive in the original one and I think it's the instrumentation that really helped do that. Here you do not get that at all. You've got some that try to take the original song and then like make a hip-hop version of it where you get like this this little thing under the main music that used to not be there and then others they try to keep as orchestral as possible and others they try to do like a hybrid of the two and then others that straight up just don't feel like they're in the same movie uh yeah it was just kind of a hodgepodge so the music didn't really quite gel you might be saying well why did i walk away saying i had a fun time whenever i had all this to say about it honestly it's the acting this is the first time in one of the live action remakes I can say that this acting is spot on really enjoyable to see. You can tell everyone involved in this just wants to make something fun. They're not trying to be better than the original film. They're not trying to be the version of Aladdin. They're just like, hey, we like the original Aladdin. We want to have some fun with it. Let's just make our version and be as goofy and silly with it as we can. And I think that works to the film's benefit so well. If there's one thing this movie is, it's funny. Like, it's so refreshing to see Aladdin pulling jokes. It's so refreshing to see the relationship between Genie and Aladdin really have good chemistry and all based in comedy. There was one scene I couldn't stop laughing and I dare not spoil it for you here. Just know whenever Aladdin starts talking about jams that I, I couldn't stop laughing at that and I think that that one scene is probably worth the price of admission alone, that I will say. And it's lighthearted, it's enjoyable. Sure, when the movie needs to be serious, it'll be serious, but most of the time, it's just, it's just lighthearted and it's fun. Like, they even add a main character to the main group, uh, who really, in all objectiveness, is pointless because she doesn't add that much to the overall story, but she is there to bring more comic relief, and this is Dahlia. So Dahlia is Jasmine's handmaiden in the movie, and uh, she she doesn't really add a whole lot to the story, I'll be quite frank, but she is so cute and so charming and just so much fun, and she's funny. Every time she got on screen, I just got excited because I'm like, oh, you're so much fun to watch. It's, it's stuff like that. It's not changing the story, it's not doing anything groundbreaking, it's not doing anything amazing, but it's fun and it's charming. Um, but yeah, not every character was stellar. I think Jafar definitely has a downgrade. He's definitely not as evil as I would have liked for him to be. He's evil enough he gets the job done, but just compared to the original one, he just, uh, he just doesn't have that same, like, power and emphasis, and I'm not scared of him. I'm just more like, eh, you're alright. Iago's probably my biggest issue with the movie, and just like Iago was, like, this is no uh, jab to Alan Tudyk who did the voice of Iago in this. He did a great job as the voice of Iago. I just think the way Iago was written needed more help. Where in this movie, he's treated more like a legit parrot as opposed to being a character. I didn't really care for that. At the end of the day, I can walk away saying I had fun with this. I enjoyed it. I actually want to go see this again. I can't really say that about a lot of the other live action movies uh, that Disney's been remaking lately. I Usually it's like a one shot, eh, that wasn't the worst thing. It's better than the direct two video sequels at least. All right, I'm done. And this one's like, no, I actually kind of want to see it again. And they do do some stuff to change the story, you know, you've got your moments where they do change elements here and there, they do some stuff out of order, they do stuff like that, which, yeah, has a couple little problems, but honestly nothing too big I couldn't look past. And they did give Jasmine a complete arc on her own. The way they did it, I was very happy with it. So is this a groundbreaking film? No. Is it better than the animated film? No. But did I enjoy it and did I have fun and do I want to watch it again? Absolutely. So, yeah, it was just fun and it, I'm happy that I can come on and say that because I thought it was going to be terrible and I thought I was going to hate it but no it was just fun and it's probably my favorite of the live action remakes maybe Jungle Book is still better because I still feel like it's done the best job of creating its own story within the narrative of another story I can't really say anything else about it other than I had fun and I want to go see it again so yeah 
guys about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!